Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Simon the Sorcerer 2. The Lion, the Wizard, and the Wardrobe. I'm Ragnats, and we're doing Low Bias Monthly for July. Games with... Or games featuring wizards. Um... I listened to a bit of the first video. Some levels are mostly okay, but... I end up raising the uh, speech volume. Hopefully, I'll sound a bit better there. Some of the characters are a tad quiet. Alright, um. Let's, oh, I can scroll. I feel like I could. Let's see how this is going. Uh, they are still sitting around. Why are they sitting around? You've got a hole in your drum. How's it going? Not very well, man. One of my drums has been damaged in transit. This one was a sacred drum, blessed by the ancient gods of our people. Now it's just a holy drum. Get it? Holy? <laughs> holy? <laughs> I need some... Uh, uh, oh, I cannot think of the word in your language, Buona. Aardvarks? No, man. It's a... Uh, begins with a B. Beast? No! Oh, no! Bladder. That's it. Bladder, man. You sure? In order to make a new skin, I need the bladder of a pig. Not the easiest thing to come by. Will you ca... Yes, I'll do it. I'll look for your bloody pig's bladder. It's obviously connected in some way to the acquisition of mucus aid. Thanks again, man. <laughs> oh, I know where it is. I don't remember how to get it. I'll figure it out eventually. Well, now that we have information about the Goldilocks, we need to get into the Three Bears' house. But we don't know how to get in, and that's what the loan company is for. Can I help you, sir? Yeah, I'm interested in a loan. In that case, sir, you've come to the right place. What sort of loan are you particularly interested in? One of those ones where you give me money. That's usually the purpose of a loan, sir. The important bit is deciding which of our loans is right for you. What have you got? Well, there's your basic traditional or pound of flesh loan. Further up the scale you've got the relative collateral loan. Then there's the medical experiments loan. The first time buyer slavery option loan. We can usually tailor one to suit our specific needs. Tell me about the relative collateral loan. Basically, it means that if you don't pay us back, then we send some lads around to butcher all your relatives. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, given that, I don't have any relatives in this world. Let's go for that one. Well, let's see what the other ones are. What's the pound of flesh loan? That's our most basic loan. We'll lend you 2,000 pieces of gold, and if you don't pay it back, we can take a pound of flesh, including blood and internal organs, from your body. Is there anything else I can do for you? Fill me in on the medical experiments loan. Should you fail to repay the money you owe us, we are entitled to use your body in gruesome cosmetic testing experiments. Is there anything else I can do for you? What's the score read the slavery option thing? The slavery option simply means that we are entitled to sell you into slavery should you fail to repay the loan. Is there anything else I can do for you? I think I'll go for the relative collateral loan. No problem, sir. You'll have to have an interview with the boss to sort out your application. You can go through whenever you're ready. I'm not lugging that thing around. Open door. Ah, Mr. Uh, Sorcerer. 
Mr. Sorcerer, just bear with me a second. I'm just dealing with a bad dead case. Takes a thing. Puts it in a capsule. Sends it up there. Now, Mr. Sorcerer, what can I do for you? Where does that tube lead to? The uh, loan recovery department for mortgages. It's basically just a siege catapult up on the roof. You demolish people's houses for being late on a mortgage payment? It's all in the loan contract. Is there something I could do for you or not? I'm interested in the relative collateral loan. Hang on a second. I'll just find the application form. So if you haven't figured it out, we're going to put the letter in the entry. I can't seem to find a form at the moment. Would you mind coming back later? No problem. And we're done with the loan office. Meanwhile, on the roof. Meanwhile, up on the roof. That's close enough. Here's another one. What's the address? The Three Bears, 69, Cul-de-Sac Boulevard. 69? <laughs> you know where it is? Yeah! Fire! Good shot! <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, we'll talk to him quickly, even though... Hello. Hello. So, you're a jester, are you? Uh, would you like to hear a joke? I don't know. Is it any good? That's why I'm telling it to you. I'm working on some new ones because my old ones weren't funny. OK, fire away. Right. Uh. What do you call a man with a seagull on his head? Cliff? You know it. That one's about as old as they come. OK, I've got another one. What do you call a man with a shovel on his head? I don't know. What do you call a man with a shovel on his head? Doug! Doug? Yeah, because he's got a shovel on his head. Shovel! Doug! Doug! See? I think I may have spotted the problem with your jokes. Hang on, I know this great story about butter! Sounds more interesting. Go on. I can't. You might spread it around. I can't believe I walked into that one. So, what do you think? You've got big problems, mate. These jokes wouldn't amuse a little and large audience. Oh, looks like I'm finished then. That's life, I'm afraid. You win some and you lose some. So we need to get him that joke book. But I forget how to get it. Uh... Yeah, I don't remember. Let's keep exploring. Oh, actually, now let's go check out the Three Bears Cottage. <laughs> Whoops. Looks like I've done them a favour. They've left the tap on. Whoops! I hope it still works. It's still sound like, it looks like a PlayStation. Let's grab that pair of rubber gloves. Off 
tap. I think I hear someone. Pa! Pa! Looks like we heard another break-in. I'll catch that young hooligan this time. Wait, Pa. It could be dangerous. Stand aside, Ma. I'm trained to handle this. Ooh, heck. Rumbled. I'd better hide. Phew. Here I come! It's all clear, Ma. You checked everywhere, Pa. No sign of anyone, Ma. Come in. Come on, Junior. Who's been blowing up my door? And who's been drying out my sponge collection? And who's been breaking my computer? I'll bet I know who it was. Who, Pa? Her. Not again, Pa. I'm afraid so, Ma. Oh, Pa, what are we gonna do? I don't know, Ma. Why don't you start cooking the porridge while I think about it? Okay, Pa. I'll just light the fire, Pa. Fire? Ah! What do you suppose that was, Pa? Sounded like rats again, Ma. I needed a bath anyway. Did you hear about what happened to their trace? Oh, yes. It must be terrible for you. They do say the same thing happened to your Darren once. Oh, yes. It was terrible for us. Simply terrible. And you know what she's like? Oh, I know. Oh, Sharon used to be just the same. I'll Did be back. Did you hear about what happened to their trace? Oh, yes. It must be terrible for them. The same thing happened to old Darren once. Really? Oh, it must have been terrible for you. And you know what old Darren's like? Oh, I know. I Nigel used to be just the same. I'm sorry to hear about your trade. It's terrible for us! And they do say that once it's happened, there's no going back. And they do say that once it's happened, there's no going back. Old Darren was never the same again. Mm, all right, Nigel. Terrible. Still, it's their own fault. They bring it upon themselves, you know. Oh, I know. Our oh, Nigel was just the same. I said to him, Nigel, you're burning the candle at both ends. But would he listen? Always think they know best, don't they? Old Darren was just the same. Terrible. Did you hear about Doreen? She's laid up in bed again! That'll be her trouble acting up. Oh, I thought she was over that. So did she! She reckons it was the cold winter that brought it on. Oh, yes. It would with something like that. It must be terrible for her. You've got to hear the latest about our Barry. You've got to hear the latest about our Barry. Remember I told you he wanted to be in the city guard? Well, he's decided to become a barbarian mercenary instead. Really? You wouldn't have thought it to look at him. It's true. He's gone out and collected all the brooches about it. Still, the money's good in barbarian. That's what our Vera said. We've never had a barbarian in the family before. It must come from his father's side. He used to be such a nice boy as well. It's probably just a phase he's going through. Our Colin had exactly the same idea last year. Really? Mm, he soon snapped out of it, though. As I said to him at the time, you need a qualification to get anywhere these days. Something to fall back on if the barbarianing falls through. They all grow out of it in the end. Although, I have heard that Audrey's lad... Uh, uh, what's his name? Parsley. Parsley just... Parsley? She was always a little unhinged with our Audrey. Do you remember when that circus came to town? Oh, how could I ever forget? Audrey with that Ellie. Terrible business. Terrible. Anyway, her Parsley has decided to become a wizard. No! Really? She doesn't know where he gets it from. Oh, it's a probably be from that husband of hers. There's not a trace of it in her family. She said to him, she said, 
no good will come of tampering with the supernatural. Messing about with occult symbols and the like, it's heathen, she said. Still, with a name like Parsley! Poor woman. It must be terrible for her. Still, there's a lot of it about these days. Still, there's a lot of it about these days. It's not the same as when we were younger. A lot of what about, you know? It. Oh, it. I hear that your Nigel gets lots of it. He's a good boy, really. It's probably just a phase. He's been in a bit of trouble about it recently. Him and Audrey's daughter, what's her name? Tapioca. I said to him, I said, Nigel, no good will come of it. You mark my words. Still, you've got to feel sorry for her. What with her problem? The poor girl. It must come from her father's side. Audrey's lot never showed any trace of it. Gin disease, I mean. Speaking as a mother, even I'd be pushed to love that phrase. Sort of ironic, really? Oh, being called tapioca and all. Still, you've got to feel sorry for her. Poor girl didn't ask for that to happen to her. Oh, it's terrible, really. I can't hear those washerwomen anymore. My ears must have developed drivel filters. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. But you know, it's one of those things you gotta experience. There'll be one other time I do it, but trust me, it'll be well worth it. Well worth it. Alright, uh, let's go back to the three bears. Pa! Pa! Look! There's an intruder in the house! Oh, there he is, Ma. What in tarnation are you doing in my house? Well, uh, I couldn't help noticing that there appears to be a big hole in your wall. I just thought I'd drop in and mention it. What are you doing snooping around my house? Happy to see that his video games are working still. I... Don't give me any of that garbage. But I... You're in league with her, aren't you? You've come here to check out our security. Actually, I... Well... What have you got to say for yourself? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't arrest you right now. Pa, why don't you give the boy a chance? Quiet, Ma. Let me handle this. Well, uh, I haven't done anything wrong. Can you prove it, eh? I think you're supposed to prove he's done something wrong. Is that right, Mom? I'm afraid so, Paul. I just want to know one thing. What? Are you in league with the Goldilocks? Who? Her! I think I've got her wig. Let me see it. This is it. This is the breakthrough we've been waiting for. Now we can leave the house without having to worry about her eating the porridge. Or sleeping in the bed. Or beating my high score at Tetris. How can I ever repay you, son? Do you mind if I have some of your porridge? Sure thing. Give him a bowl of your special porridge. Okay, Paul. Come with me. You'll never, never guess why we need the porridge. But you'll see. There you are. You'll all see. Have a nice day, son. I feel like Simon the Supergrass. I don't think I'll ever have to come back here. Okay, uh... My name is Tattooist. Let's check out the Tattooist. I 
I think it leads to the tattoo parlour. It says, back after lunch. Yep. <laughs> I mentioned this game's a bit weird. All right, mate. What's going down? Do you want to know a s s s s secret? Okay, I'm game. I I c c c can't tell you. I I'm afraid. If I did, then it wouldn't be 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 a s secret. Oh, go on. I promise I won't tell anybody. I c can't. It's t t too secret to, to, to tell any b b body in the whole world. Come on. I really want to know now. I c can't t t tell you. Unless... Unless what? Unless the, the, the fairies have given you permission to hear it. Of course they have. Me and the fairies go back years. You, 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 you wouldn't li li lie to me, would you? Who, me? If, if you did, the, the, the fairies would be very c c cross. Oh, come and tell me already. All right, then. You're sure, 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 sure. You're, you're ready to learn the most important secret in the world? It's a secret shared by only a handful of ch ch chosen ones. A secret that could quite possibly ch change the course of your entire life. I'm ready. Right. Uh, 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 <laughs> do you know something? Life of me, remember what it was. What? Oh well, it can't have been that important. Well, what did you expect? <laughs> Oi! I sense this conversation is heading nowhere fast. Excuse me. A good herring, my boy. Good herring? Yes, and a fine herring it is too. What herring? The herring. There is only one. The halibut are also here, but they're making notes on their fins. Is that the time? I really must be off. May the mackerel be with you. Yeah, right. Frying pan man. Hello. Hello! I don't think he can hear me. He's taken a vow of deafness. A vow of deafness? So, how do I speak to him? Write it down on this. These guys are dangerously weird. Use notepad with Frank Pimman. There's no need to shout! I'm not blind! <laughs> um, what's going on here? Have a brochure! Apparently, this lot believe that an hour of lunacy every week is stress relieving. They think it reduces the risk of madness in later life. So, how do I join? Oh, yeah. Luckily for you! We have a vacancy as a porridge wearer! <laughs> yep. 
porridge wearer. Yes! Our last porridge wearer was thrown out for trying to get away with muesli! What else is a porridge I'd have thought it was pretty obvious! All you have to do is wear the porridge! No worries. Well, fortunately. Am I ready to join up now? I've got your membership stuff right here! Hang on while I clean this porridge off. See you at the next meeting! Same time next week! I guess I gotta come here first, and then it would be more obvious why we were breaking into the uh, Three Bears Cottage, but whatevs. Let's have a look in here. One hundred dollars. Oh, I guess so. An annoying piece of elastic that prevents Americans falling into rivers. I can't imagine what use I'll have for it. It's a wedge. I just need a bigs. Well, now that I have over $78. Tell kid, you got our money? Sure, here you go. Looks like he is cleared to go past after all. Certainly seems that way. Be on your way then. Cheers, guys. Where's your identification? It's okay. I already paid the guys over there. Maybe so. But only guests or servants of the king get past here. I think I've been had. Have you got any official ID? Afraid not. You can't come in then. I think we have not been yet. Mix mix swamplings. My God, he's gone commercial. I do not believe it. Hiya, remember me? Remember you? Of course, I remember you. Uh, Uncle McSwampy never forgets his customers. No, no, no. I mean from the last game. I came round your house and you made me eat that revolting stew of yours. Uh, sorry? You know, at your birthday party. I was the only one there. Oh, that's better. Uh, I can see you properly now. Your face doesn't ring a bell. You're not one of Steve's mates, are you? Never mind. I got you confused with somebody else. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Reference the other game, and it'll make slightly more sense in a bit. Um, let's get a balloon. At McSwampings, we can also organize children's parties. Would you like a balloon, Sonny? Can I have a voucher as well? Okay, here you are. And remember, kiddo, have a McSwampingly happy day. I wonder when the writer is going to get fed up of these belittling kiddie jokes. Hey, Sonny. I'd better not hold my breath. Yes? Could you not loiter here, please? You're putting off the punters. Right. Mm, what is this about here? It entitles me to a McSwampy kiddie meal for only $8. Well, I've got more than $8. At the swamp things we could all
he's follically challenged. An Oxfam regular, if I'm not much mistaken. I think those are the only two people of any interest other than up there. Enjoying your meal? I was. Mind if I join you? Yes, I'd like to eat my lunch in peace before I go back to work. Where do you work? I run the tattoo parlor. I've only got until two o'clock, so leave me alone. When's two o'clock? Look at the clock. But that clock hasn't changed since I came in here. I know. Now go away. <laughs> All right there. Hello. You look a bit down in the dumps. I was beaten up four times today. And someone stole my Unix manual as well. What's a Unix manual? Just an Amarat catalogue. Uh, that sounds really cool. There's no need to rub it in. I know I'm a complete geek. I just don't know how to toughen my image up. Try taking up a macho hobby of some sort. Like stamp collecting? Maybe. If the stamps were really heavy. Oh, there's no point. Nothing works. I'm destined to be a nerd all my life. Worst things happen at sea, or so I'm told. Nothing could be worse than this. I'm off before you bring everybody down, you whinging loser. Thanks for the encouragement. I remember what he's there for. Can't help him yet. Voucher on later. What exactly is that supposed to achieve? Just talk to waiter. May I take your order? Can I use my kitty meal voucher, please? Sure. One kitty meal. What flavor shake do you want? What flavors have you got? We've got maggot flavor. Suspiciously brown flavour and nearly banana flavour. Uh. What's with a nearly banana flavour? Well, it's yellow and sort of uh, fruity. Okay, I'll give it a try. One nearly banana. That'll be eight dollars. Okay, here you are. Thank you for calling. Please call again. Let's have a look in here then. Hmm. There's a big maggot that's eaten my burger, some chewing gum, and a model of the Swampling. Okay, eat the gum. No. Uh, don't quite remember what I need to do with the. Well, I know what I need to do with the model, and I'm pretty sure I remember what I need to do with the shake. I wonder who that little weirdo is. Hey, kid! I said, hey, kid! Here you are, sonny! Have a voucher! What an oddball! <laughs> Let's follow him. That odd little kid is at the counter. It's that strange little kid again. Remember, everyone, all swamp food contains only 20% pure. Uh... Okay, I think we need to get that book.
Well, if it isn't Mr. Sucker. Mr. Sucker? Watch out behind you. What? See what I mean? There's nothing there. Exactly. You have to be the most irritating person I have ever met. Here's my card. Dr. J. Beagle, purveyor of jokes and costumes. Costumes made to order. You're a doctor? I do negative psychology. Negative psychology? I'm highly trained to bring out the worst in people. <laughs> Great. Excuse me. Why? What have you done? <laughs> can you make me a costume? If you can give me a design. It could take a while though. I'm trying to work out a new formula for stink bombs. Can you make me a swampling costume? That's what the toy's for. I suppose so. I'll need some green material, though. I used it all making tree costumes for some bird watchers. I'll see what I can do. It's a McSwampy's souvenir balloon. My nearly banana-flavoured swamp shake. There's a warning on the side. Swamp shake will set into a solid mass on contact with air. Is that what you need for this bomb? I think I'll choose to ignore that idea. I'm not going to give stuff away unless I need to. Let me see if I can get the book when he has the costume on. I don't remember if that's how it works. Yep. Easily distracted. Okay. And while I'm here, let's go back to the pet shop because I remember I have something to do here. Oh, and I guess we can do the cloth guy, too. So, uh, over here there's a turtle. An electric turtle. So, because it is an electric turtle, if I try to pick it up... Ow! It's nice to know you care about my well-being. So use the rubber gloves on the turtle. I'll use these rubber gloves to stop myself being electrocuted. He's got his two tubes here and one tube here, so we use the turtle with this empty cage. on the gloves, put on the turtle, it's inside, and we can now push the machine. I don't want to exert myself unnecessarily. Okay, here goes. You can see the levers on the negative side. and a turtle, so let's pick up the turtle. And we'll pick up the glow worms. And now we use the glow worms in the empty cage. Push the lever to combining. And use the machine. Okay. Here goes. And 
Wow! Looks like I've done it! Done what? Look! I had no idea you were a genetic scientist as well! Oh, it's a hobby. I used electric eels, actually. Eels, you say? I must investigate this further? Keep that jar if you like. Thanks. Now leave me alone! Whilst I work on the formula. What about my percentage? Come back tomorrow. Okay. Fat look. I'd like to buy some green cloth, please. Green? No problem. But that'll be a lot of money. How much money? More than you can afford. <laughs> However, if you can do me a little favour, then we could come to some sort of agreement. Sorry, you're really not my type. Do as I ask, and I'll give you the cloth you want. As long as it doesn't involve leather, then I'll do it. Follow me. All you have to do is go in there and fetch me a magical lamp. You want me to enter this dark passage? This is the rear entrance. That's what I was afraid of. Don't come back until you fetch me the lamp. Just one thing, I... Later. I am not a happy man. He is not a happy man, folks. Much rubbing later. Bloody typical. I suppose someone out there finds this sort of thing really amusing. I'm sorry, but the mighty genie of the lamp isn't here right now. So if you've come for your wishes, you're out of luck. I'm taking a vacation. If you want to get back to me on this matter, please leave your name and wishes after the beep. I cannot believe it. What are the odds of that? Hey, Lardo! I've got your lamp! Throw it up to me! No way! I've read the relevant literature. Toss me the ladder down first. It's a good thing he's genre savvy. Well done, boy. What about my cloth? Kaleeb! Some cloth for the boy! I thought we agreed the cloth would be green. Sorry, that's all we've got, I'm afraid. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. If only we had a way to dye the cloth. Which we do. First, we need a, ba a vat of green water. Grass green! I hate that color. Think. I can't hear those washerwomen anymore. My ears must have developed drivel filters. Don't think that was the line he was supposed to say, but whatever. To you, I think. I'm not going to give stuff away unless I need to. Talk to her. Morning, ladies. Who are you? 
the Sorcerer. Simon the Sorcerer. Licence to thrill. Simon's such a nice name, don't you think? I was going to call my second son Simon! Do you remember that Simon from over the East End? Oh, yes! Maybe Simon isn't such a nice name after all. Simone is a nice name for a girl. I was going to call my second daughter Simone! But your second daughter's called Chastity. I thought we might be a bit confused if we were in a second son. Excuse me? Not now, dear. I'm talking to these ladies. Children of day are so rude sometimes. In my day, we were seen and not heard. Especially not after the accident at Tartar's Cement and Toothpaste Factory. I bet he's won a bag of the Tauruses, boys. She never taught us any manners. Are you a Taurus, dear? Uh, no, I'm a Capricorn. Run along now, dear. Just use the cloth of water. If you want any washing done, then put it next to my basket. There we go. Put that down there. When she finishes her... I love that you can actually see they're still talking. They just don't say anything. Is a bit greener. Okay, come on. Fish. Finish that one. She sees that there's that one there. Gives it a quick wash in, puts it back. And there we go. Green cloth. I think we're done with this location now. And back to the street of traders and Actually, before I forget, let's just put the balloon there. Actually, I don't think we can do anything here. Let's go to the loan office. Now we can give you the joke book. Why don't you have a look through this? <laughs> These are really good. You must let me give you something in return. I'm sure there's nothing of yours that I want. But take my bladder anyway. I won't be needing it anymore. Thanks. Uh, I think that's the last time I do him a favor. The bladder the jester gave me. is annoying. And we can give the bladder to Bungle. Look what I happened across. So happy. Thanks, man. Now I'll be able to teach this lot some moves. I'll give you a VIP demonstration. Don't inconvenience yourself on my account. No problem, man. Okay, remember what I told you about the rhythm. Ready? Okay. Nice how he broke the drum.
I think it's starting to rain. Yes, yes! We even managed to get lightning! Oh, I never thought it would go so well! I hate everything. And we died. Wana, excuse us! We've got a lot of practicing to do! No worries. The important thing about that is because it rained, the sewers have had some uh, changes. <laughs> come like this way. The spider's not there anymore. Yay! But I'm not there. going any further without a light. You never know what horrid beasties could be lurking in there. Use glowworms. So what happened to that spider, you might be wondering? That's what. And this takes us to the swamp. I can't reach it from here. Use bungee rope. I've already tied it to my ankle. Greetings, traveler. I am the Lady of the Lake, Keeper of the Sacred Sword, that lies on yonder isle. Uh, hello. If you seek to claim the Sword of Kings, know this. Only one of royal birth may take it from the rock in which it rests. Why are you wearing goggles and a respirator? Only one who is worthy shall wield the Sword of Kings. So far, no one has proven themselves fit for such a task. However, if you have... Oh, what's the point? Eh? Why do I always get the bloody awkward ones? And Diana's 20 minutes late for a shift as well? And I was supposed to be going on a date with George tonight. Hold it. Time out. What the hell is going on? It's simple. I swapped shifts with Sarah so I could go on a date with George. Then Sarah swapped with Katie so she could double date with Amy. But Katie backed out so Diana had to fill in for her. She was supposed to start 20 minutes ago. I've been doing this for eight hours without a break now. I didn't realise Ladies of the Lake did shifts. There's eight of us on the rotor in total. I usually do three mornings a week except today when I had a double. I've been doing this for eight hours non-stop. Doing what exactly? You know, Lady of the Laking. 
popping up in front of the tourists and giving them that crap about the sword. The king likes to keep these old traditions going. I'd really like to have a go. Where do I sign up? You can't just jump into Lady of the Laking just like that. You need the proper training. And besides, you're not a woman. Whatever happened to equal opportunities? Anyway, you need the royal seal before we can take you on. The king likes to view all new employees personally. I'd better go and see him then. Can't do anything on that side either. Is that enough? I think I'll choose to ignore that idea. No. Apparently, I don't remember everything as well as I thought. Now, unfortunately, even though you can now use the map to get to the swamp, since we've opened up the path, to get back from the swamp, you have to take the sewers. Which means you have to go from here and listen to the obnoxious sewer sound. And even worse, you have to hear the guy laugh at least once. Kid, I heard that laugh way too many times. Okay, I need that costume, but I think I still need something to help him with his stink bombs. I thought it was the mud. I've got that cloth you needed. Right. A short while later. Oh, okay. I got the costume without him. Not the bad. Stables. Not bad at all. After a brief but unexpected solar eclipse. <laughs> so we don't see him get changed. I think we will call this a video. Till next time, folks. Toodaloo. I'm playing a game!